out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, it's rumors of, you know, Al Heyman selling Premier Boxing Champions from whatever they want to call Rick Glasser, boxing promoter, um, boxing inside. I don't know. I just know I don't mess with them. But, hey, so somebody put me on game in the chat, so I'm going to do a video on it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. So this is his post. I'm going to read it. You can go to his Facebook page if you want to see more. He said rumors around that PBC is being shopped around for a potential sale. And it's now supposedly down to one per, uh, potential purchaser. That likely buyer is Ari Emanuel, the Hollywood mogul that co-owns the WME agency in Zuffa, better known publicly as UFC. Um, the sale is not a cash out by Al Heyman. It's a forced sale, a forced sale by Waddle and Reed, Waddle Reed, the company that put up uh, 550 million for PBC, uh, being told by several reliable sources that PBC, even, uh, even since they stopped paying uh, pay, uh, paying for time buys, has still never turned a profit. Waddle Reed, I'm told, is wore out from Al Heyman's failed projections of forthcoming profitability, and Waddle Reed is forcing the transaction. To quote the attorney source, a lot of smoke and mirrors with PBC, but nothing fruitful financially. If Ari Emanuel is the buyer, look for Dana White. Um, he spelled his name. No, he got it right. Uh, look for Dana White to be the front man for the boxing venture, too, as White is for the UFC. Other bi uh, boxing business powerhouses like Bob Arum, Eddie Hearn, also Oscar De La Hoya are not interested in and or prohibited from purchasing PBC as PBC fights are on Fox platform and Showtime because Aaron and Herman and Oscar respective exclusive uh, exclusivity, Aram and Disney, ESPN and her in America with the zone and Oscar with the zone. Um, there are several issues that need to be cleared up between Heyman and Wilder Reed and Wilder and Reed without Heyman may possibly still retain some ownership with the manuals group. We'll see how it unfolds over the next several months. And as more information becomes available, you will have it. So apparently he the only guy with this story. So let that be known. So he the only guy with this story, attorney source. They've been trying to uh, speak it into existence that premier boxing champion falls on it or, or slips on a banana peel and Al Heyman busts right on his head. So, Obviously, Al Heyman is calculated. Al Heyman know what he's doing. Um, we know that from from a point, but all these, you know, all these certain people out here praying on their downfall, hoping and and trying to speak shit into existence. So be it. At the end of the day, you know, smoke and mirrors. They want to use all this, and unless you're gonna let your sources be known and say who told it to you, then all it is is a rumor. You know what I'm saying? But Dana White has been. Has been very, very vocal, you know, the last six months or so that he going to get in the box and he got a plan. And don't forget, Al Heyman helped the UFC uh, get a fight in New York when they couldn't get it before. So at the end of the day, if this um, area man will take over, him and Al Heyman already have a working relationship. So I don't know if Al Heyman is going to guide Dana White on how to run the company or is Al Heyman just going to completely get out the way and let Dana White run it. But one thing we know for sure is that, you know, once if Al is no longer part of PBC and he's just individually going to manage fighters, then at the end of the day, his fighter's going to walk. As soon as Dana White try to try to do what he did in the UFC and make the best fights happen, they leave him. There's no PBC without Al Heyman. They can dress it up, do whatever they want to do to it, unless Al Heyman running the show, and he's still going to have some likeliness or, or some hands in there. Those fighters going to sign deals. You know, if Eddie Hearn got some of that billion-dollar you know, money left. I'm I'm guaranteed guys that said they ain't fighting on app, they gonna be fighting. Now, a lot of guys gonna like the the ability to fight on Fox and grow their profile. But then again, if, if Dana White is gonna put the bet for put the best versus the best fights on, then you know now Al Heyman went from being your boss to Dana White. So is he gonna have that type of relationships? We know Dana White. He's about you know putting more money in the businessman pockets and not the fighters. 
So, you know, this could be an end to PBC um, because all the fighters are just going to retire or move on. You know, ESPN, The Zone. So, you know, at the end of the day, Al Hammond probably come up with another venture for all you know. You never know. You know, at the, at the, apparently they say, oh, Waddle and Reed, whoever, you know, whoever fronted the $550 million and Al Hammond ain't giving a return. We'll see. At the end of the day, this this is a story and it's a rumor, but, you know, they've been saying, oh, PBC run, uh, running out of money for years and this attorney source and whoop-de-whoop and they want this and that. And then, you know, you look up six months, you forget about the story and ain't nothing shake. And we also can put validity to it, like how, you know, I know that, you know, PBC be giving out a lot of their fight tickets, you know, to the Sean Porter fight. And we know for, we know some things that can, can get his story validity, okay? One thing we know about the story is this, is that Al Heyman is overpaying his fighters. Al Heyman started paying his fighters more. He was getting his fighters more paid on HBO, all that. He was, he was getting his fighters paid, overpaid. So ESPN stepped it up. The zone started overpaying fighters. And even Eddie Hearn admitted, eventually they're going to come back down to, to regular boxing wage. But how, how, how long can they sustain paying these fighters this much money and overpaying them? They can't sustain it. Because if you're not you're bringing a return, you giving tickets away, and you paying a guy $2, 3000000 million to fight, you ain't getting that return. You know, you can't overpay people. It, it ain't right. Of course, Whoever, you know, Waddle and Reed is not going to get their return on the investment of the, whatever the $550 million they put up. Because how can you get a return when you're overpaying people? So how how is everybody else getting paid? How, have you, how are you turning over a profit? It's the question. So just right then and there, if we know these dudes getting overpaid and, 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 and we see the majority of their fights going on pay-per-view, we see Showtime running out of money, that's, that's questionable. PBC is not a promotional company. It's a management. So we know we know money probably funny over there because they not getting a return. They can't be getting a return. Sean Porter, whatever they play, Sean Porter and Yugas, they couldn't have got a return on that fight. Maybe from Fox putting the money up, but as far as the live gate, they gave away a, a thousand. They was giving away floor seats. So if Dana White is going to be the front man and, and do what he's doing to UFC, because I believe he sold the UFC to the Mary Emanuel guy. But then again, Al Heyman was able to get UFC in New York finally, you know, for Ari Emanuel. He was able to do that. So they have a record relationship. If Al Heyman in the fold, like the Post said, if Al is not in the fold, then, you know, Waddle and Reed probably still going to have stock in the company. So it sounds like they're mad at Al, but Al is very calculated. So, Maybe Al is, is done with trying to stroke these boxer egos. Maybe Al is, ty is tired of, you know, BSing around. Maybe Al is asking these dudes to do them a favor. Uh, oh, come on, man. Just do this for me. Do this for me. Please do this for me. And he, they ain't doing it. They don't want to fight the best. And then again, it's hurting the brand. So all the fighters sitting out there thanking Al Heyman. Maybe he still be, be a manager. He still vibes. But PBC would be dead. But all these fighters, you know, if, the, if this thing is totally folding and they selling PBC, all these fucking fighters that sat here and didn't want to fight the best, wanted to retire, say in my arm, my ass, my toes hurt. All these fighters that did this, ducking and BSing around, this is what it come to. This dude got to sell this company, if this is true. This is what it come to. Selfish, punk fighters, scared to lose they owe, this is what it's going to come to. Old granddaddy Al Heyman going to have to sell the company because y'all wasn't man enough to put the best fights on. This was happening when you marinate. And if PBC fall and Dana White come in and cut their wages down or 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 whatever may happen, but they ain't getting the same money, guess what? ESPN going to drop their money. The Zone going to drop their money. Like Jay-Z said, broke players trying to keep up with me. You know what I'm saying? They spending their money trying to keep up with PBC. So now you ain't got to keep up with PBC no more. That they money coming out. Everybody else money going to come down. So boxing... Is is always all shit like this is always gonna cleanse itself. Sometimes you gotta you gotta destroy to rebuild, and this is exactly what's gonna happen, man. If this story is true, so it should be interesting to see if he reinvents something, or if he just manage and advise individual fighters and look over their contracts. Now, it's very interesting. This could be a great turn for boxing as far as them dudes being forced to fight the best out there. But hey, it's good for the sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Faith. I mean, the Hellblaze at the Hellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow1Boxing gets you 18% off 
off the 100% all natural products, soaps, lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair pomade, much, much more. Website, promo code, description. Check them out. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video request. Keep sharing the videos, man. Definitely appreciate the love and support. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. And uh, just keep sharing the videos. We gone.